Before we get started, if you're a hardcore Daylight fan or just someone who likes this show, make sure you join the Daylight Amino community as we discuss trends, news, and fan arts happening in the franchise. And yes, I recently became an active member on this page too, so what are you waiting for? Go to the link at the description below or just download it on iOS or Android and let's expand the community. Without much said, let's get the reaction started! Hello everyone, welcome to Matter of Shantan, the Daylight Season 3, Episode 3! Yes! The last episode of Volume 8 finished today and we finally move on to Volume 9. Oh my god, can't wait to see who is the culprit. Oh well, who is Nastami you're gonna disguise as? But before I get right into it, and yes, make sure you guys also go and join the Amino group for a day life community because I'm about to hit 100 followers. When I hit 100 followers, I am gonna make a very special page announcement. But other than that, hope you guys have a chance to join the Amino group and see me be very active in that group too. So yeah, before I get into the, well, dive into the recap, I would like tell you guys that today will be the last episode that I will be covering uh, full screen with no screening only the, with the timer so yeah today will be the the last time I'll be using timer format only because after I scout around with other ch like reactor channel well let's just say the channel looks okay with just sub on it so I'm quite confident that YouTube won't be very bitchy about how copyright with just a subtitle and so I'm quite confident so yeah let's just hope nothing goes wrong and yes put this out of the way now so next week episode you guys will see the sub after after like two episodes of you know just um co complete screening or just a timer so yeah let's move on and discuss the anime from last week episode so yeah what a better way to start off day life is by discussing the terrible i mean not terrible animation i mean sorry guys the animation looks oh my god jc staff you guys really clean up your animation ever since the pre-air episode one. Oh my god so it reminds me of the two seasons how the quality their life should be so I, I give full phrase for you guys for like sort of like do some uh, quality check on here and that although there's still a bit of like details missing from the characters like especially the hairs it looks so meh but you know I'm not gonna dwell on that too much longer and just like focus on the content of last week episode and yes let's dive right into it shall we and yeah let's start with the opening oh my god top 5 for this season in my opinion the amount of effort put into like the, the animation in the opening is clear as day and how much JC staff put in amount of effort like making the like the fighting scene in the opening very very like aesthetically pleasing and with other and it's like up, like up there with other openings so JC staff I, I give you guys full phrase for putting a lot of effort into the opening well let's just say we start off with Westgard being well Westgard nothing more to say to that dickhead cutting off people's hand for going against his selfish ideals I mean with Ellen health of course but he then he all shifts to the main content of last week episode as they Jishida went and date and search for Natsumi impersonating whoever in those 12 photos well obviously I won't say too much as I may give too much hint away but well we still have start, start with Torka as always well she almost almost became the suspected one but I mean first Shido sort of used a direct method by mentioning Natsumi which pissed the shit out of Torka so Shido here's an advice for you do not fucking piss off the princess you do not want to repeat what happened in episode, episode 3 remember from season 1 remember that Shido but the biggest shock was how she didn't, doesn't want to eat too much not a talk out that we all know of course but well when we learn the reason is that she's been given the illusion that boy hates girl that eats a lot and she also say uh, he's having none of that so yeah she's so sort of happy again and eat, eat the mouthful of all the food in the buffet and so I'm not sure is that really Natsumi so yeah Toka is safe for now but then we have Yoshino I mean Yoshino well being cute as always in her witch cosplay Natsumi maybe not hmm maybe not cause Yoshino doesn't really do anything out of the ordinary Although Yoshinon sort of acting in a bit of a weird way, but she's the doll after all. I can't say anything about that. Finally, we have Yuzuru. Well, obviously, we skip out on Shido's friend because he's actually quite worthless. Where in the novel, it was quite a, like a pathetic moment where Shido didn't do much with him. So, yeah, I'm glad they actually skipped that part from the novel. But Yuzuru acting in a well, very full, charming way, and signs that she haven't moved on since episode 4 of season 2, as she still believes Kaguya is better for Shido but Shido is having none of that because both of them are pretty so he just support those two Natsumi decides to make her move, bitchy move by this, changing this whole situation well more 
in an interesting way by every midnight she takes one by one starting off with Yuzuru making her out of the selection so Shido have to speed up the dating process so he has like four more to date now I guess so in this episode today I do not expect we did show every moment in the novel, uh, in the novel, especially the three girls that, uh, well, like the three side characters in the like, Reikon High School. And yes, I, 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 just, I have a feeling that you're gonna skip a lot of moments in the novel too, so I just gotta adapt to that. But I'm looking forward to the Miku Day because Miku, the Miku Day was a really good one. And yes, today they're gonna go into the interrogation who Nasumi is in and Nasumi reveal who she is. And yeah, the conclusion of this volume 8. Well, I'm a bit worried how how many sk scenes they will skip out from the, the final vo final part chapter of the volume eight. But I mean, it's episode three, so it makes sense that it will skip a lot of scenes. So let's hope it's still good in general. Hopefully, JC staff sort of like balance it well with some moments, key moments, and stuff like that. So I'm quite looking forward to the to this episode today. And yes, and I might as well not dwell too much on it because I don't want to spoil too much for you guys. As a not light novel reader, I do not want to like tell you guys who the suspect is despite knowing already know who is it. But uh, let's get started, shall we? Okay, we're in position and let's get started. So yeah, I wonder how many scenes they'll cut out from this last part of the volume 8. Hopefully they don't rush too much. At least they have a bit of content to the, and the last part of the uh, volume 8. So yeah, here we go in 3, 2, 1, go. I'm actually looking forward to the interrogation scene. And yeah, sorry about this cover for now. This will be the last episode that I'll be using this format. So next week we'll see subs again. Yeah, user got captured. That's why they had to speed up the dating process. Yeah, they had to hurry up or else one by one they just disappear. <laughs> oh yeah, for, yeah, they're on a date right now. The Iska the Iska family is so on a date right now. <laughs> oh, Kotori, man. Kotori. Kiss. Kiss. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, my God. Bullying your little sister. That is no good, she though. No bullying of your little sister. Uh oh. 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 Oh! Oh! Do not piss off your little sister or else she go she goes aggressive. And yes, we have no opening because it's, they're going to cover the whole series. Well, I guess Katori is out of picture because like Katori sort of like uh, showed the sign that she's actually Katori. And guess who? Okay, so Miku's next, huh? Yeah, Miku, I'm looking forward to this one. Ah ha ha! Cosplay time! <laughs> yeah, if they find out that Miku's dating this commoner, they'll all hate him. So that's why he's on this, they're in disguise right now. Yeah. Yeah, let's enjoy the day she though. Okay, there's some sort of popular character in the TV shows. And because the, the people are interested in those two. Hey, hey, look at Miku showing off her beauty. Darling, Ma. Hey, hey, Shido looking cool. Aha! Those three, they actually included it into the episode too. Wow, I'm surprised, JC staff. Haha, <laughs> you already know. And? Oh, oh my god, what? 
One, one, one to one. Oh my god. One to one with your teacher, man. At least I got this part of the volume 8 into this episode. Well done, JC Staff. Oh no, 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 no. That's a wedding form. That's a wedding form. <laughs> and Yuzuru. I mean, Kaguya. Hey, Uso! Okay, JC Staff, you're really rushing through this, aren't you? Makes sense, though. <coughs> Is that even allowed in bowling? Then this is. <laughs> yeah, she bought it from there. Looks very fancy though. I only have a glove. Yeah, you're gonna challenge the. You're gonna challenge the. Ah, you lame ass Shido. You lame ass person. You can't even play bowling? Okay, Kaguya wants Shido to sit down. Interesting. Okay. Well, he had to obey her because she he lost. So yeah, makes sense. Mhm. Mm okay. Why is she so? What's what's the serious face, Kaguya? Oh. Not bad. Not bad, Kaguya. Not bad. <laughs> oh wow, Kaguya, man. Kaguya. Hey, hey. oh ho! What do you, do you have here? Wait, what's going on? What, what? Okay, what's going on? And she's crying. Oh, okay. Yuzuru. I knew it. Yuzuru. Okay, watch with the change in atmosphere now. Now it thinks that uh, now we have some amazing background sad music. Oh ho! Oh god! Why? What's with the sad moment just now? What the hell? They did. They did. They 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 have to read well for the novel, though. I I want to. I I was curious about this moment in the novel. From the novel. They're just chilling now, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah, she do do your amazing talks and stuff. Oh, yeah, it's almost 12. So who will she capture this time? Hey, oh, here comes Natsumi. And she's inside a mirror. Yeah, you really think he's enjoying the game, you fucking bitch? S fucking hell, not to me. At least listen to Shido. Well, he has to start answering her anyway, so let's see who he choose. Oh! Oh ho! Went for Yoshino this time, huh? Oh, so? Guess it's wrong. No, it's wrong. It's wrong.
Uh oh, uh oh, Yoshi knows gone. Oh dear, oh dear. One by one, they're gone. Oh my god, you. Now it's Origami's turn. Well, what else? Romance, why not? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, Origami, okay, okay. Uh, they in the end chose a romantic movie. Oh, look at Origami going for it. Going for it. <laughs> what is he doing now? Oh, -ho! oh. I mean, typical Origami after all. Ay, yay, yay, really, man? Really? Ah, oh god! You just drank her saliva! What the fuck? Why are you still getting her pajamas? Ah, oh, look at Tokyo worrying about Shido. Hey, hey! Look at Toka being all stuck up. Uh. Oh, Mr. Woodman! Oh, so they adapted him in this situation instead, huh? Wow, okay. That's fucking Mr. Woodman, the head of Raturistic. He's just there to check on those two anyways. Wow, yeah, he is. Hey, hey, hey. so they instead, instead of going from the supermarket, they change it in the car scenario, huh? Natsumi. Natsumi, that's the name of the girl that's trying to capture Toka later. Whoa, shit! Oh, shit! Toka! And she's been captured, just like that. Too late. Too late. Too late. Fucking hell not to me. Fuck you, Natsumi. Why don't you? God. Fucking hell. She's trying to capture everyone so that she can impersonate them in in this world, and yes, she has the right to get angry. God, Natsumi is such a f This is why I don't like her. Oh, look at those eyes! Oh, 
Oh, she's so quite stuck up for thinking that she you no know, can find her. <laughs> Isn't he from the space battleship back in season two, where he got blown up by the the, the the my sisters? Oh, they get into the shelter zone. Already, wow. Okay, JC staff. Thanks. Thanks for the rush scene. Guess they all know about the situation right now, so they make things much more easier for Shido. Yeah, they got. They're also gone. Hey. <laughs> Which Oh, Origami is onto something. She's onto something. Hmm. Oh ho. Oh, she thought Natsumi used to turn to the pictures, but using a knife. But why she have a knife anyways? But she used a knife to see if it's triggered any of the picture. Basically, what Origami did there is that they think because um, Natsumi can also turn to like uh, solid, un in unmovable objects, so that's why you want to see whether the pictures are like hiding in them. There comes the bitch ass wish. Oh my god, it's not the time, Miku! It's not the time right now! Okay, who he has three cho he has three choices. Let's see how you're gonna use it well. Or oh, was it four or five? No, it was three. Remember, it was three choices. So he's still believing Yuzuru is a, the, the culprit, huh? Hmm? Huh? So it's not Yuzuru, huh? And Origami is taken away. Yeah, it's not Yuzuru. So basically the stuff Yuzuru said in the, like, on the top of the hill make, makes sense. It's uh, true to her feelings. Uh, why do we jump all the way to West Guard now? Mm -hmm. Okay, pressure on Shido, pressure on now. Mm. 
Miku, is, there's no time to panic. Help Shido out. Okay, this is going random choice now. Miku, what the hell, man? You only have 30 seconds left. Oh ho! Oh ho! There is the biggest clue right now! Uh, hey! The biggest clue right now. I talk about that the more when she, what Miku just did right there. Hmm. Huh? Huh? Ah! Hey! There we have it. Yeah, it's strange. Yeah, she's a puppet. Yeah, she can see it. And she can catch it. Yeah, Miku gave the hint for the, the hair clip. Which I'm gonna talk about later. Well, though he's a... Like I said, he's had you have to think outside the box for that, but... Yeah. yeah and she... Richard, she had to like obey the rules and let everyone out. Yeah, everyone's out, right? Haha, <laughs> look at those two. And there comes the lolly Natsumi! Uh, hey, hey! Look what you have here! A lolly! Uh, ha, ha, hey! Now she's pissed off! And now she's back to her normal form. Yeah, she used that to transfer her own body. Uh, she's pissed off, alright. She is pissed off, alright. Uh, hey. Uh, you just made things worse. You just made things a lot worse. Oh dear, look at those lollies. Those kitties. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Everyone's a kid. Oh dear. Oh dear, Shido. You just got yourself a, baby, a babysitting job now. Okay, wow. Volume 8 just finish off just like that. Well, JC staff. How many scenes do you cut off? A lot. The part where in the, the early stages of this episode, the part where you go about well, the Kortori part, so sort of like have the key moments already in. And then Well They went they went straight with the Miku. My god, the Miku day was a bit it was so rushed. To, to the point that I'm a bit disgusted by it because like they're supposed to run away from the crowd because they discovered their identity. My god, they had to cut that out, didn't they? Although the three the three girls and then the Thomas Sensei sort of got the key moments in already when Thomas Sensei asked you to take a married with her because, you know, ask her out and stuff like that. And then the Kaguya moment, at least they got the sad moment in. When I read the novel, uh, Kaguya was really sad. I wanted to really see how JC Staff did it, which also did so well because just reflects how Yuzu, um, Kaguya is feeling with, without Yuzu around. 
really shows the, the sisterly love. Oh my god, JC Style, he actually gets it well with that moment where Kaguya just cries in front of Shido. Uh, in front of Shido. Oh my god, that Sam, that with, with the back, uh, back with the background music too. That's very, very, uh, very dramatic though. So JC Style gets it well with the Kaguya uh, moment where she played bowling and then she went from any, from very happy to very sad because as we know, she, Kagu, Kaguya can't live without her sister around. So. So yeah, I just sort of did, they did well to reflect how she's feeling right now. So JC Stab are a credit for you guys with that. So then after that, Natsumi just start capturing people and yeah, capturing capturing people or got, uh, and just pretty much uh, make Shido decide to like rush the date and stuff like that. Especially for origami date, like we we didn't get a, a, a chance to see more of the, uh, some erotic moments from between origami and shido because there's more to it than just sucking origami saliva which is very hilarious though so yeah the dates are pretty much rushed toka and shido at least they got mr woodman to the moment and I remember what i said from episode one they they, they cut off mr woodman when toka and shido met mr woodman at least they start incorporating this in this mo in this episode, like in the, around the middle part of the episode. Instead, in the supermarket, they met him in the car. So he just happens to drive by, coincidentally. But you know, he did that on purpose to check out on those two because he wanted to monitor whether those two are like um, on par with each other and like are really getting, getting along. So he yeah, just want to check on them, and then he went to the prison check uh, check on the, the 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 captain of the destroyed ship back in season two. So. With that said, then Toka being captured, destroyed. Natsumi basically captures Toka to like destroy Shiro mentally and, and like threatening him that if she doesn't like speed up this process, he will capture everyone and she will impersonate them in this world to like, you know, do stuff and make Shiro life a lot more miserable. So they had to resort to the underground detective mission where Origami sort of pick up the, give some ideas like saying that, but what if Natsumi is not a moving human object from the picture. Instead, she's like an object, like Yoshinan, which t turns out to be Yoshinan. She disguised as, which uh, because Miku gave a hint because they say, oh, when I give you this, if I, if I disappear, that disappear along with my side, maybe with me. So remember, Minato mentioned that Yoshino was being captured, so Yoshino was with her. So that's when we destroys the clue. But Shido uh, intelligently figured that out and sort of like get the, uh, got the idea that. Uh, Yoshino is the one because you know when back in season two, uh, episode two, I sort of hold my po I still have a poker face in that moment too. Like when Yoshino ca catch the phone, we all thought that for any anime only, you guys thought that Yoshino Yoshino have very strong reflex. No, that was Natsumi just aware of the dropping phone, so she just grab grab it. And not to mention she mentioned about the part where she got uh, captured by or uh, brought uh, Oregon picked Yoshino up and brought to her house. Yoshino does not remember that. Just to let us know. So Natsumi dives too deep into the memory of Yoshinon and and Yoshino of course, and so sort of, uh, became the victim of her own hiding. She just uh, exposed it to Shido, and she and Shido pretty much figured it out and exposed Natsumi that she's disguised as Yoshinon. Although that's very sneaky of Yo Natsumi to disguise Yoshinon, uh, but although the clues from Origami and Miku sort of help Shido out with this, although I, I always say com compare this to the novel, they sort of speed up the detective case because there was a lot more discussion when discussing about the who was in the pictures and stuff and uh, exp and this like Katori just randomly picking up pictures there was, there's more to it than just like oh this one no this one no oh I'm crying and then it's just like oh yes it's Yoshinon seriously that was really uh, that, that, that was a bit rushed in my opinion but at least they need to cover everything so yeah not bad to, not a bad way to finish uh, volume 8 but I'm a bit disappointed with the way they rushed out rush volume 8 but uh, in the end we get to see the lolly Natsumi the, her true form so the reason why Natsumi is very pissed off see, that when everyone saw her true form because she has appearance problem she hates her own appearance that's why she had this fantastic figurine of this f sexy looking Natsumi because she does not have no self confidence in her own self which will play a big part in volume 9 later on so let's just say Natsumi got even more pissed off that everyone saw her form and now she turned everyone into some bunch of kids. So Shido had to like babysit them now. And Natsumi is on the hiding again. And next episode, I can tell you that Natsumi is going to continue to bully Shido in, in the way that you guys are not like, going to like her. And yes, throughout this episode, Natsumi just showed what, what a bitch she is. And although Miku sort of was the, almost the same part back in season 2, but 
the way Natsumi does stuff in this episode, in this season, you know, I mean, this volume eight, it just pisses me off a bit. But you know, she she has her own her own ways to punish people, so it could be worse. Like Nat Miku trying to kill Shiro back in season two, but in this case, she just wanted to make Shiro's life miserable. So yeah, Natsumi sort of like went from game two over. Now it's now game three where they had to find her and wow, well, try to babysit the the people although Katori turned to the kid that was a that was a, a new one because Katori no, no, in the novel Katori wasn't turning to a kid but uh, well JC staff trying to make this different from the novel as much as possible which to my annoyance as a, a novel reader yeah so yeah this is what my thought on this so far well I, I'm obviously I'm gonna rewatch the episode again so it's a, like they'll give a proper explanation next in the introduction in the next week episode but for now hopefully you guys enjoy my reaction to this and yes I was aware that Yoshino was the culprit in the first place I tried my best to hold, hold a poker face and that was my and this pretty much shows that Natsumi when I say that thing outside the box yeah Yoshinon man, Yoshinon. I, although some of you guys may have already taken the hint that it could be Yoshinon. So that's enough for me for today. Hope you guys enjoy my reaction. Subscribe to my channel for more reaction content. Smash that like button if you guys enjoy my reaction for this episode today. Despite me being annoyed with a lot of rush moments. But yeah, still give me a like anyway because this episode, uh, Volume 9 going to be a lot more interesting. Because they had to find ways to like to make uh, uh, Natsumi open up to Shido again. Because now Natsumi showed a lot of disgust for Shido. So yeah, looking forward to the volume 9 part of the episode now. So we have next three episodes will be volume 9. So looking forward to that. Origami arc is still into mid-February. So it's going to be a while. So other than that, I'll see you guys next time.